big one. That's a big one right there, boys. Big small mouth. You know, when it's slick like this, you gotta, you know, find a technique that you can be efficient with. And these kind of hard head or, you know, football heads with the, that are loose, you know, Tommy Biffle made it really popular. Good, pretty small mouth. And uh, this one's pretty cool right here because uh, you can you can attach the hook to it real real quickly, so you can change hooks. And then this is a new Rage Bug by um, Strike King. And what I really like about it is that everything is you know it's got those little Rage flanges even on the side there. And I mean it just swims really awesome through the water, even at really slow speeds. But you know the main thing you do with this is you know you just cast it out there. And you can fish it like a jig, but I, I just pretty much fish it like a crankbait. Just kind of cast it out, slowly reel along the bottom. You know, it's great for hard bottom, clean bottom areas, um, you know, where you can just cover a lot of water. You know, right now I'm just on a big gravel flat. It's the spring of the year. The fish are moving up to spawn, and, you know, the conditions aren't, aren't perfect. You know, it's, it's cloudy, but there's, we're sitting here and it's slick calm. So this is something you can use when water's real clear and it's subtle like that. It's got a lot of action because that, you know, that head's bouncing around, making a lot of noise kicking around and that body's jumping around behind it. Uh, so it's a really great system. I'm gonna get one out and I'll show you how to rig it here in a second. So this is the new Mustad um, fast hatch head right here. Now this is a three quarter ounce one right here. And what it does is it's got their fast hatch clip connected to it. So you can put any hook that you want to it. Uh, so you can match the size of the bait. You know, a lot of times um, if the water's real clear, I'll use a small profile bait, you know, um, uh, a little you know grub or something like that and if it's dirtier water I want to use a bigger uh, bait so I want to use a, a larger hook for that so right now I'm throwing a, the new Rage Bug and you know this 4 uh, must add grip pin hook works really good for that it's the perfect size hook so all you do is you just start that on there run it all the way over um, the, the, the clip and it can't come off there and again that's going to swivel on there and bounce back and forth I'm just going to rig my rage, rage bug on there. And again, the great thing about this is with that grip pin, once I slide that over it, it holds that right in place so it can't slide down. You know, I can usually catch two to sometimes four or five bass on each bait, so it's going to save you a lot of plastics. Uh, you know, if you're not fishing in real heavy cover, I'm going to leave that hook completely exposed on the other side like that. If you got to throw it through some brush in that, you want to, you know, you definitely want to put it back in so that that hook point is, is down in the plastic. But that bait right there just has tremendous action as it's bouncing along the bottom. You know, I'm going to use the size that I need uh, to keep good bottom contact. I love the three quarter. You know, I like to fish fast. I'm going to fish it with 14 pound uh, fluorocarbon, make a good long cast out there, and I can retrieve it, you know, pretty you know, pretty quickly that way. Keep that rod tip low to the water, try to keep that bait just clicking along the bottom. And when they bite it, it just kind of, it's kind of like a crankbait bite. It just kind of goes slack and, um, and you'll feel the weight of the fish on there. So what I want to do is instead of just setting the hook, I want to reel, uh, reel up until that rod loads and then pull into them and you'll catch almost every one. It's a great system, um, you know, to catch fish when conditions are tough like this. Check us out at wired2fish.com.